Hanna, Lina's sister uh, with family was visiting us here in Martinique in March. It was uh, Hanna and uh, Theo and with the kids Lina and um, Betty and Ebba. We started off uh, with uh, in a caravan, uh, airstream caravan, uh, for them to adjust to the tiny, tiny living. We had made a lot of plans for them with uh, visiting waterfalls in the jungle, doing a volcano tour, and of course uh, a lot of beach life uh, with snorkeling on the reefs. Uh, so, uh, and of course a lot of sailing and some sailing school was planned as well. Um... Darlet. Oh no, French pronunciation again. You have to enjoy the morning view instead. For us, this is unique because there is no wind, and that's unusual. Uh, and the boats are swinging on their anchor all over but we haven't hit anything or anyone so it's been a very very nice night quiet and just relaxing and you can see the We are on like 10 meters of depth uh, and you can see the bottom so it's very clear. Not much to see here though but um, we have seen some turtles and uh, we're probably going to next bay to four today where it's good snorkeling. Unfortunately uh, halfway yeah. Uh, through the uh, through the visit, uh, the uh, the outbreak of the coronavirus started off, and the France uh, uh, made a decision to make a total lockdown of the country. And since Martinique is part of France, we were uh, affected, so they closed uh, everything down. We we weren't even allowed to go on shore, uh, so we were stuck on the boat. Uh, luckily, we could stay in the water, but uh, we had to make a lot of uh, change plans. Me and my sister Hannah, uh, she's behind the camera right now. Uh, we're going to in the corona time, virus time, it's the first day that French has closed their borders. 
and have strict regulations how we are allowed to act. But we really, really, really need to go shopping because we are out of food. And it says that you were allowed to go to the supermarket and buy food. But we are a little bit concerned. We don't know what the policemen are going to say when we go shopping now. But we hope we get an open store. So we are in Fort like a ghost town. Yeah, it's so quiet. Last time me and Paul was here, it was carnival. It was people everywhere. And it was so crowded on this dingy dock, so you couldn't get a shore almost. That's... on the boat. Ebbe has been clipping here. And uh, the others are still sleeping in here. Have you seen any turtles this morning, Ebbe? Sure, uh, we needed a paper stating what uh, what we were supposed to do, and the only thing we were allowed to do was to go grocery shopping and um, go to buy medicine, or if you needed uh, to go to the uh, to the hospital. They even had uh, helicopters uh, flying around to make sure that we followed the uh, the restrictions. We had to make the best of the situation, finding things to do on the boat. 
We played board games at night and played in the water during the day. See you next week and take care of each other.